All right, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at Chase Claypool in his role as big slot receiver. I think with the addition of George Pickens this year, it gives the team a lot of availability to move Chase Claypool into that big slot role now that Juju's there, not there. Um, and I think Claypool is going to do really well. Uh, taking a look at this play from the preseason, um, he uh, makes a really nice move on this corner with a jab step and immediately creates some width. Uh, Trubisky sees it and puts the ball up. Again, Claypool has plenty of space. This ball is actually underthrown. Claypool, as the big receiver, can go up and get it. Uh, now that we've seen what Claypool can do, I just want to notice what happens, the difference of having, you know, maybe more of your shorter uh, slots in that in that role. So here we've got uh, Tyler Sneed, and the ball is just a little too out of reach for him. I actually think this is a great throw, um, mainly because Pickett puts it high enough that he's going to give it a chance to drop it in the basket, especially because, you know, Tyler Sneed can't create any separation. Pickett's got to err on the side of caution, not under throwing it and letting the DB make a play on the ball. And, you know, we can just kind of understand with Claypool's height, um, he would be able to come down, not to mention Claypool's speed with this ball. Uh, taking a look at the end zone cam, it's nice to see Pickett gets the ball out quickly, allowing him to, um, you know, put some air under it without having to worry about the safety here closing too quickly on it. The ball dropping in the bucket. But again, you know, your typical slot receiver, uh, your Ray Ray McLeod, your Gunnar Olszewski's are not going to bring the same kind of advantage that Claypool, a big slot that still has that speed, uh, can bring to the offense. Um, here's another example. This is in the first quarter against the Lions. This time we've got another shorter slot receiver in Gunnar Olszewski. Um, similar route, kind of that slot fade. Uh, Gunner does get a little bit of separation here. He doesn't put a move on the corner. He just decides to kind of blow past him. Um, yeah, does a decent job, but ultimately um, just kind of lacks that wider target zone for the quarterback to be able to put it on him. Not a great throw. Um, Trubisky, unfortunately, was a little rushed. He's got all this pressure in his face. Um, so, you know, all things considered, he puts it up there, gives um, his receiver a chance to make a play. What I'd like to see maybe Olszewski do a better job of is, is to maybe just widen this slot fade a little bit. He turns it straight up field and he kind of foregoes all of this space he has over here, which is where the ball eventually ends up. And I mean, you know, maybe the goal of the route is to be a little bit more inside, but you can, it's much easier to track towards your in inside shoulder. So widening here would just give him a little bit more margin for error. We saw Claypool able to widen a little bit um, in his play. So we'll take a look at that again. Here he's wide. He kind of starts to lean back as that ball's in the air, allowing him to track it, going up and getting it. One more time here. He turns his head, sees the ball, and watch how he just subtly kind of uh, widens his route. There it is right there. Just, yep, he drops that outside shoulder towards the sideline. Boom, right there. Gives himself some space. All right, next we'll take a look at a play where the slot receiver is going to run a slant and um, what the difference between Claypool and a guy like Olszewski might be in this situation. So, I really like Olszewski. I think he's a great um, slot option, but ultimately his long speed is going to be just a more a bit more limiting compared to Claypool. Gunner does a good job of pressing and, you know, quickly whipping that slant inside, wasting no time. Pickett doing a nice job with the RPO, hits him on time right in the hands and the forward shoulder, keeping his momentum going. And Gunner's doing a good job getting his head around, he tries to widen, but ultimately gets caught from behind. 
This corner does a good job of recovering and is able to get him at the ankles. Um, we'll take a look at it from a wider angle, just showing how much room actually Gunner had if he can beat that corner. So, um, you know, Claypool we know has really good long speed. And this is an example from last year where he's coming out of the slot. He's putting that same nice move on the defender, quickly whipping his head around, getting the ball. The difference being, and granted, I think this is maybe Von Miller. So, you know, not the same one-to-one, -one, but, you know, Claypool's long speed on display here as he gets the ball, takes it up the field, can even put a move on the safety. Boom, catches it and is already accelerating. He's able to even get past that defender with the stiff arm, and he's still outrunning people until uh, he gets the angle on him. Uh, next play I want to look at is what Claypool might be able to offer in terms of in the uh, red zone. Um, you know, this is actually a really nice play by Olszewski, and Pickett puts a really good throw on him. I mean, this is essentially the very limit of where Olszewski can actually make a play on the ball. Defender just gets in there and gets a hand on it. Um, or if not, just, yep, enough to kind of um, break it up. But again, we can easily kind of understand what Claypool can bring here. He's going to widen the target zone. I mean, instead of the ball being here, ball can be up here where this defender can't make a play. Um, so just excited for what um, Claypool can offer um, as a big slot as opposed to, you know, your kind of standard smaller slot guy. And then finally, you know, I found this play. It, rem it reminded me of, um, you know, what a play Claypool had in college um, on that back pylon where he gets the ball up high and, you know, is able to uh, kind of make that corner pylon play that we like to see. Really nice job of whipping his head around. And actually, this throw isn't even that good. Throws actually down here. Claypool's got all this space. All right, guys, so there you have it. Uh, let me know what you think of Chase Claypool in the slot this year, um, what he can bring to this offense, and um, if you're excited for week one against Cincinnati. Uh, thanks so much. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. Would really appreciate it, and uh, see you next time.